13 games won, zero games lost. That's the story this year for Syracuse women's lacrosse. After an early exit in last year's NCAA tournament, the Orange came into 2023 with a fire under them. Their play this season is creating the best start in program history and has put Syracuse back to number one in the national rankings, a place they haven't been since 2014. But even though they're at the top, Coach Trainer and her team are making it very clear the number, although exciting, will not get in the way of their end goal. Yeah, it's awesome to wake up and be ranked number one on a Monday morning. I mean, how else do you want to start your week? But it doesn't really mean much until it's Memorial Day weekend and you want to be ranked number one on the last day of the season. Oh, it's exciting. The girls are working really hard and they've done a great job so far. We're excited about it, but certainly not where we want to be yet. Because we know like we haven't hit our full potential yet. You know, we're working every practice, every game to get better and better, and we know we can do that. This program is known for defeating opponents because of its scoring, but Syracuse's defense has been no joke either. Goalie Delaney Schweitzer is having a career year for the Orange and has helped hold off some of the best scoring offenses in the country, like Northwestern and Maryland, to start off the season. The Orange have already defeated seven ranked opponents and have three more on the horizon, most notably UNC later this month. Having two of the best goal scorers in the country like Megan Tyrell and Megan Carney probably helps too. They both attribute the team's success to its chemistry, which would make winning a national championship with this group that much sweeter. Yeah, it would be unreal. Like I get chills thinking about it. We're just having fun this year. I mean, we're a very eager team. Like level of chemistry that we have both on and off the field with this team is just something that I haven't experienced yet being here. And, you know, we're starting to have an identity as a team and that people are trying to stop us certain ways. So it's exciting. We just want to keep getting better. And I think our best lacrosse is yet to come. Last year, it was injuries that derailed Syracuse's postseason run, and it could be the only thing standing in their way from a national championship once again. Starters Kate Mashevsky and Bianca Chevry have already been ruled out for the rest of the season. But if the remaining Orange stay healthy, this team truly believes the surface is nowhere close to being scratched. Reporting, Adam Aven, Citrus TV.